Hello everyone, so today I'm going to talk about the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream but the newer versions, like the newer shades but I think I saw like they are they released this maybe two years ago but I just knew about them because um, subscribe with hello Fahima she suggested this color, like what I'm wearing now, the Leon so I was really curious and at first I wanted to look for reviews but it was hard for me, it was hard for me to, fa to find like latest reviews, mostly the old version so it gave me an idea to why not review review them because I did try the older shades like the Kams I don't know which one I think I tried four and I didn't like really like them and gave them away so now I was curious because I remember I didn't like them because it was not so opaque like I'm used I'm so used to like opaque formulas but now I prefer more like the blurred blotted effect so I um I so I decided to why not try them and um timely it was in promotion when I was planning to get them like I think the second piece would be like half the price so that's why I got six shades I think yes six shades so yeah uh, yeah I hope this video will be helpful for you if you're planning to get the newer shades so yeah let's go to the swatch so we will apply first the shade that someone um, suggested to me so sorry for my lips um yeah because of the dry lips that's why it's like this so this is the shade Leon I'm really excited because of this I wanted to try the newer colors because it was hard for me to find like reviews about it so I decided to review it myself so yeah this is the shade Leon I'm so excited for this because she said I would really like this shade So this is the shade Leon. I really love how it looks. It's like an MLBB and surely I would use this a lot. So thank you Fahima for suggesting it. And yeah, I noticed that the cup, I don't think it's like a, like a matte cup. I think this is like the kind of packaging of MAC um, blushers. So it, it will be easily, you will see easily like the marks, like makeup marks. Uh, I think when I use this more, it will be much more, um, it will be dirtier, but yeah, that is the packaging. So this shade is really a pretty, like, a, yeah, she's right, it's like an almost MOBB shade, so I think I'm gonna use this a lot, so thank you for um, suggesting this to me, and yeah, I'm really happy I got it, it's really, um, I thought it would be more like an orange, kind of shade but it's really like an MLBB shade so if you're looking for a new MLBB shade I would recommend this from NYX so this is the shade Leon so I don't think they're really long lasting I will try it's been in my lips maybe more than five minutes now so you'll see if it will transfer or not mm. it's really so minimal transfer I'm really amazed so probably it's also Long lasting than the other ones. I tried to. Yeah, uh, if you rub it, it will be like that. But I think when. So it. In the mask, it will be like not really messy. So that's really nice to know. I'll try to use this tomorrow and see how. What will happen with the transfer. The next shade is, I think, the light, lightest shade. So it's the Beijing. It's like a light pink. Kind of shade. So this shade is it's it's so light for me. Didn't. I wanted to get it because I don't have anything like this, but this is not a good <laughs> shade. This, yeah. Maybe if I will mix it with something, but alone I cannot wear this. This is too light. I look like I'm sick. 
I don't know if maybe I think the picture suit looks really nice, but I think maybe um, it will be better with lighter skin tone. And I think darker skin tone. I noticed they like to like wear this kind of shade, but it's a no for me. So yeah, this is Beijing. The next shade is Shanghai. So oh, yeah. this is like a peach, peachy shade, I think, or like peachy pink. So this is the, um, I think Shanghai. So this is like a bright peach kind of shade, which I don't think I like. Maybe if I will mix it, it will be good. But it will be good. But I don't really, I'm not really liking it. I don't think it's complementing my skin tone really. But I think if you have lighter skin tone, it will look good. And I notice I need to apply a lot because it's not that opaque. And yeah, the formula is really moussey, so it's not really like messy, which I also like. So yeah, so this is the shade Shanghai. So the next shade is San Francisco. So I think this is one of the shades I did like with, with like the photos I've seen. This is the shade um, San Francisco. So this reminds me of the blush shade that I would review tomorrow. So I think I will gonna, I'm gonna pair them together. So yeah, this is really a pretty shade. So even in pictures I knew I would like this. So I really like this. This is like the kind of peach I like not too bright like the first one. Just a much darker and warmer tone. So yeah, this is really a pretty shade that I know I would keep and um, will you? So yeah, that is San Francisco. The next shade is the Toulouse. I think I hope I'm saying that right. So this is really a unique shade. I've never had this. Maybe I had this before, like in, with ColourPop, but like a grayish kind of shade. So I'm really excited if I would like this. So this is the shade Toulouse. So it's really, it reminds me of the color pop I used to have, like a grunge kind of, like a grungy. I think this would be nice if I have like, like a heavy um, makeup eye look. So, but because this is too like too dark, almost like dark lilac, I'm not sure if I would use this. But yeah, maybe specific makeup I can use this. But with um, normally the looks I go for I never use this so but it's really a, like a unique shade if you're wanting to have that not so bright shade I think you would uh, might like this so yeah this is Toulouse and the last shade is Los Angeles so this is also a unique shade I think that like a yeah grayish also we shall see So this is the Los Angeles, so this is much like the other one is more on the lilac side but it's also like a grayish um, shade but it's more the brown side. So this is also like also good for like smoky eye look that you don't want the attention go to your lips but mainly focus on your eyes so this would work but normally I don't like this kind of shade it's too I feel like my face looks so gloomy if I wear this even if I have like um, like a heavy makeup so I don't think I will keep this I think I will give this away but if you like this kind of shade I think um, this would be a good like um, for uh, to pair with um, like heavy makeup looks so 
yeah that is los angeles so i'm back wearing my most favorite shade which is the leon so uh yeah i i do love the formula of them the how how they feel but the only problem i noticed that there's not so much product so when you get products like so not so much products are like in the one so the one is really like um thin long kind of one yeah this kind of one it's not so easy to apply because it's really like thin and it's like compared to like a flat um kind of um, applicator and it's really like moussey so i don't know if there's uh it will last long because i feel like i don't really scoop a lot whenever i like remove it from the packaging but yeah they smell like a um, cupcake which i like not too strong it's not like bothering me while um applying or like having it on and i'm really amazed with the quality uh, you've seen earlier that it didn't transfer that much when it stayed in my lips for quite a long time so i will try to eat later and just to see if it will transfer or it will be like removed totally while drinking coffee and eating something so Yeah, for the description of these lipsticks so they said in statement making matte colors our nude based shades of soft matte lip cream deliver a burst of creamy color that sets to a stunning matte finish oh i didn't know that that's why it said i thought they will not set at all because of the formula um durable lightweight and delightfully creamy it's no wonder this sweetly scented formula is a next professional makeup fan favorite yeah i knew i noticed that this is one of the cult favorites like this has been popular for years now envelope your lips in this high pigmented plush matte formula in colors inspired by cities of the world yeah that's why the every um the shade names are like the city uh, like cities enjoy matte lips that are always soft agree never dry yeah it's a bit yeah now it feels a bit dry because it's settling in a rosy hues of copenhagen go nude in abu dhabi and blush over in stockholm i think i did buy the stockholm before this lip cream is a matte lipstick lover's dream light on the lips and heavy on the pigmentation yeah i yeah the pigmentation is case some colors i need to like build it up but this is no problem at all i love how it feels how it looks it's really like the formula like that i like nowadays compared before like i like the color pop kind of formula like really opaque and thick but now i prefer like light i don't really like blend it or like blur it out whenever i use like lipstick so i love how it feels i, lo I love the pigmentation quality and i think they retail around six or seven year or maybe less in the us so yeah if you want this i'll try to link it in my description box and also i'll put certainly a blog post about it with all the swatches and more pictures of it so yeah um yeah i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions suggestions please do let me know and i will make it possible for you as much as i can so yeah thank you for watching if you find this video helpful please give this a thumbs up to um, help my channel a lot and if you could consider subscribing to my channel and see more lipstick reviews and um, swatches please consider subscribing to my channel and yeah thank you for watching and i hope i see you in my next one bye